All right, this week we're talking about student housing, multifamily student housing. Money, ching, 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 ching. When we're renting it out by the room, God, cash flow like crazy. All right, did you know that student housing is one of the healthiest segments of the real estate investment market right now? Mm-hmm. With pandemic shutdowns over, students have flocked back to colleges. Uh, before we go any further, Furman University uh, diploma over my shoulder. Go Dens, uh, one of the favorite memories I have of college. Good old chance at football games. FU one time, FU two times, FU three times, FU all the time. Go Paladins, Furman University, shout out. So back to student housing. With pandemic shutdowns over, students have flocked back to colleges, right? Uh, really creating countless opportunities for investors who own multifamily properties in student-centric areas. So if you are considering student housing investments or if you're looking for a new type of investment due to the changing market, 2022, fun, uh, we've got you covered. Here is what you need to know about student housing in the academic year 2022 through 2023. Takeaway numero uno. The addressable student housing market of 8.6 million beds. Again, beds. I love the buy room ability to rent. So 8.6 million beds. That provides what? Plenty of investment opportunities, especially in the South. Investors should also consider ways to market to international students as part of uh, your overall strategy. A couple of more fun facts. 55% of United States university students live in other types of rental housing um, when compared to purpose-built off-campus housing or on-campus dormitories. That 8.6 million number uh, of student beds I threw at you, that accounts for 12% of the total number of rental units in the country. It's pretty wild. Uh, Believe it or not, 61% of student housing beds are in the South, 19% in the Midwest, 13% in the West, and 6% in the Northeast. But again, that's a massive statistic. 61% of student housing beds are in the South. Of that almost 9 million figure, 1.1 million uh, international students are a key demographic of the student housing world. We're talking about 1.1 out of almost 9 million. Something just to be cognizant of. Know your audience, know your clientele. Uh, that's true whether they're 18, 21, 45, 60, right? Know who you're catering to, know who your audience is. Takeaway number two, fears about online learning, right? Really deterring students from going to campus have proven to be completely unwarranted. Students, particularly those just out of high school, no surprise, have a strong preference towards attending college in person. Don't blame them. Investors in student housing, you're going to benefit from this, right? You have record occupancy and you have increasing rents. Two thumbs up. All right. Fall 2022 pre-leasing rate of 96.6%. That is the highest of the past four years. While spring 2022 marked the fifth consecutive semester of post-secondary enrollment declines, the losses have primarily been at community colleges, smaller schools, uh, not really competitive private and public flagship universities. That's where the numbers are too. Uh, The current rent growth for student housing is 5%. That really matches the multifamily market as a whole. Uh, And this level of rent growth is unprecedented in the student housing industry. Rents per bed have hit all time highs. So third takeaway, most student housing is relatively new uh, and most student housing properties, they're relatively small. This gives investors massive opportunity, right? To really target investments more specifically, more efficiently, and even consider one to nine unit construction as a strategy. One to nine unit, we have a product, the five to nine unit at Lima One Capital. Um, Perfect fit for this. A couple more percentages because this is going to be a statistic heavy episode because that's the kind of mood I'm in today. 78% of student housing, was built in the last 20 years, right? Very new stock. Uh, 80% of student housing 
comes in at 50 or fewer units. And then the last percentage, 55% uh, of student housing uh, serving the 70 largest four-year universities, uh, they are at properties with less than 10 units. So you think about student housing, big universities, your first thought may be to go to 100, 400, 500 unit properties. Uh, that's just not the case, right? 50, over half, over half of the student housing serving the top 70 universities uh, in terms of size, they are at properties with less than 10 units. So look at that sub 10 unit count. The last takeaway I'm gonna leave you with, uh, let's look at student housing investment trends. While total sales volume is keeping pace with last year, sales price per bed is dropping, and mostly because a good portion of the housing is being built in southern states where land and building costs are much less expensive than the norm outside of that market. This shows investors a clear path to profit at southern schools. Uh, shout out Furman. Student housing property companies took out mortgages amounting to over $18 billion dollars across over a thousand loans as of May 2020. So it just continues to throttle up. Uh, fewer than 20 oh, fewer than 20 companies own 25 or more properties in the student housing market. Uh, the top one has 169 properties and close to 105,000 beds. Uh, take that you know top of the pyramid out. 20 companies, only 20 companies own 25 or more properties in the student housing market. So again, you know, you think about student housing at large universities and you think just massive operators. That's not the case. There is um, ample opportunity to jump in here as uh, an investor uh, of any size, really. So investor interest because of this, of course, remains strong in student housing. Uh, market fundamentals, incredibly robust. And in terms of future prospects, very bullish. Blackstone's almost $13 billion acquisition of the largest group I was mentioning earlier, campus communities, American campus communities. Uh, it was announced in April 22. Uh, it's a notable bet that that sector is going to continue to perform. Uh, so similar to last quarter, universities in the South and Southwest, they are registering the most investment activity, particularly in Florida. So look, from occupancy to rent growth to investment trends, the student housing sector of multifamily investing looks to stay strong. This trend is especially true at larger premier universities and really when you look at it in the South. Um, as a result, transaction volume for student housing properties is at a fever pitch at all strata of investor experience levels. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that the variety of student housing options with many smaller properties available gives any investor a chance to enter the student housing market. You can invest with confidence surrounding large universities based on what we see in this year's numbers. If you have a student housing uh, property investment opportunity in view, the crew at Level One Capital can help. So reach out to us. Uh, we will walk you through options. Uh, we operate um, from a common sense lending approach, right? If we think it's a good deal, if we think it's going to work out, if we think you're going to be successful, we're going to do the deal. So contact us to learn more, 800-390-4212. Thanks everybody for listening. Take care.